Welcome to the Take a Listing Today podcast, where our hosts, Jim Studebaker and Todd Robertson, give you strategies to get you out of the office right now so you can take a new listing today. And now, here's Jim and Todd. Yes, yeah, show 111. Who would have thought that would ever happen? 111. That's incredible. 111. And that's got to be good luck for everybody. It is good luck. It is good luck. Wow. It is March 2022. I'm Jim, and that's Todd. And over here in the corner, our producer that's brought us all the way to show 111, the famous Lisa Gray in the house. We're Yay, back. Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. I just clapped for myself. Well, well thank, you, you, thank you for bringing us this far, because that is a treat. It oh, is. Yeah. And, and we look all well-rested, because as you said, we took a few weeks off. Well, we had some reruns. Is. Yep. Which did very well, but now we are back live and in person. So welcome to our show. And don't forget, you can also hear us on iHeartRadio, Google Podcast, iTunes, Spotify, or if you want the whole experience, check us out on YouTube because then you get to see what we're doing oh around gosh. here. And show you, and you want to see. And you yes, see the show funny. is taken off. It didn't used to be on all this stuff. It's taken off. So get yeah. in while you know before they cap it, right? Yes. Well, and we just uh, one of uh, the customers at Prospects Plus left a review on Facebook recently saying she was listening to the podcast on Alexa. <laughs> so you can listen to podcasts on your Alexa. Wow. So if you're at home, crank that baby up. Say, Alexa, play Take a Listing Today podcast. Yeah, you could be on your, your stationary bike exercising and listening to this. Right. Yeah. Wow, what a treat that would be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> um, anyway. You didn't sell that very well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyway, on today's oh. show, we're going to show you how to knock the socks off of somebody. I'm assuming we're talking about people wanting to sell their house, right? Yes, how to knock or, their socks off where did before that the listing come from? appointment. Knock the socks off. Where did that come from? I don't know. Okay. Are they wearing shoes when you knock their socks <laughs> off? And then, because that would be difficult if not wearing shoes. Okay, we might have to do no, a whole have separate show just on that. Yeah. We need to talk about the logistics of that, I think. Yes. But how do you really impress somebody? at a listing presentation. Now you counsel your own listing clients about staging their homes and improving their curb appeal. Now it's time for you to take your own advice. Amp up your professional curb appeal with a brilliant pre-listing package that will knock any prospective client's socks off. And what's great about what Jim just said is this, nobody has stats in the country of, of what percentage of agents do a pre-listing package and what percentage don't. We do know one thing, however, our great agents that we know and stay in touch with and that stay in touch with us, they do it every single time. The great right. agents around the country that are doing incredible amounts, mm -hmm. they do what's going through this podcast every single time. It's not yeah. a maybe for them. The people at the top of the mountain, right? Yes. The yes. people that have climbed their way and they got to the top of the mountain standing up there. There's only a few up there. Yeah. Those are the ones doing that. Correct. And that's how they got there. We've been to the top of the mountain. Remember that? It was cold up there. Yes, God, it was yeah, free. It was, we have to wait. I mean, we're in Florida. We have to wait till Christmas again to go through that. Yeah, really? We, she she could have got us, you know, better, gonna, better warmer jackets or something. Your neck scarf became like a turban. It's, yeah, but I didn't have frostbite on my <laughs> neck or my, my head. I had so that I'm okay Mount with that. Mount Everest hallucination. What is that where you get your, like, none of oxygen? Yeah, mile high. Uh, your yeah, nose starts right, bleeding. Air is thinner or something up there. All right. Right. Same thing in Wisconsin. Those that go to school out there normally. I think <laughs> yeah. Wisconsin, low oxygen, same thing, right? <laughs> right, right? Okay. So are you a new agent out there? Well, you know, a pre-listing packet is the first way to stand out from your competition and to make a great first impression. A pre-listing packet contains information about you, your services, your track record, and what you do to successfully market homes. Now, just as you would want your client's home to make a brilliant first impression, so it goes with creating a level of impression for yourself. Now, you won't have as much time as you think to do this during the listing presentation. In fact, you'll have exactly one-tenth of one second to make that first impression in person. Now, this is according to the research by Princeton psychologists Janine Willis and Alexander Todorov. Now, we have people from Princeton <laughs> checking out our show. Is that it? Or we just well, took their stuff? Well, took their stuff. Why okay. are we taking people from those kind of schools? I mean, I don't hear a, a so-and-so quoted right. from Cal State Bakersfield. You know? <laughs> we or, don't ever hear or that. Or Wisconsin U. Yeah, you don't we, hear that either, right? Yeah. Hmm. Bakersfield Junior College. <laughs> junior College, yeah. Population of seven. And four have been kicked out. And the school's uh, considering staying open or not. <laughs> so... If you really want to knock off their socks, 
before the listing presentation, do a pre-listing packet. So everything that you should include in that packet should be branded, obviously. You should include some impressive sales statistics that you have. Now, if you're new to the business and you're lacking that, you might want to consider using the brokerage's statistics if they're impressive. If they're not, you might want to consider a new broker. Um, yes, exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. Make sure they're very impressive or you put something, something else in there that is impressive. Right. So how about some success stories with testimonials? <clears throat> that would be great. Testimonials are always important. Include your marketing plan. How about examples of your past marketing efforts? List websites and other marketing mediums that you use in your marketing efforts. How about a one page step by step guide to the selling process that they will experience and a Q&A page? You know, I, what I love about these last two things is this is doing the selling for you before you get there. So obviously, we first of all, um, maybe you're not certain yet, although I would hope so from your phone conversation if they're a first time seller and or some of those other details. So the Q and A page is a great page. You don't know all of the questions they may have that day. So some of those questions are being answered in advance right. by, by this one page. Also the one page that has a step-by-step -step guide. I mean, boy, talk about easing anxiety mm -hmm. to go through a pre-listing packet and see right. the process hammered out in a very easy, not an Ikea instruction manual, but a very easy, one, you know, one, two, three, four, five. These are the steps. This is what will happen during the whole process. Now you just kind of breathe out. Exactly. And there's one thing to add to this, which will scare most people listening and watching. But if you really do want to take a ton of listings and um, watch, there's one thing to add to this. Do this, number one, as soon as you can. You're going to have less cancellations. We talked about that. Number two, add a list of reasons, which are objections. Mm hmm <clears throat> this takes a strong agent and you word this whatever is according to your words whatever is natural here's a list of reasons or things that other people have had questions about or been worried about really what that is is a whole page of objections so um circle the ones that bother you the most and send me a message so i can address those right away it's a brilliant strategy because you're addressing their number one fear mm -hmm. once we handle that great and then we go on and very assumptively mm -hmm. take it so the strong agents will include that sheet you it's, know yeah that's great commission it's, timing yep. bang, 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 it's almost like homework that you're creating in a way so you're engaging them before you even got, have gotten to the listing presentation with this page especially right. if you have a little comment at the top circle any of these that you're especially concerned about we'll talk about them at the listing presentation now you've engaged them and 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 even telling them i'm going to send this packet out you're going to get it three days before the presentation look it over get familiar with it there's some information that's really valuable right. to you in there and maybe mention one or two of those things specifically a page that's going to go over some of the common concerns people have you'd be surprised they mostly have the same concerns exactly so, you know. and if an agent did not do a pre-listing package and i'm sure this happens all over the country in every city a lot of people go there do the best they can or think they did the best they can and they leave not knowing well, why didn't I get it? If you did this, you will know. Right. Because right. you're going to have the objections and you're going to make them feel comfortable. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, we're going to handle those immediately right when we come over to put you at ease and we'll do the rest of a uh, right. boom. This will separate you from the pack. Right. Pretty much anything that, that you can do to separate yourself from right. the other agents is going to be important. Um, oh, what about... Uh, oh. <laughs> I thought you were having a hot flash, but you're a man. Well, it's warm so in the was... studio today, but um, <laughs> yeah. what about your own personal magazine? Ooh. Ooh. Lisa, yeah. where did we get this? Well, uh, this is a very exciting time for Prospects Plus. They just launched the Homes and Life magazine. This is a personally branded magazine for agents. Uh, customizable, full color uh, high quality content. The articles are uh, direct response articles written by real estate industry experts. There's also some lifestyle content in there as well. This is a value added gift. Anytime you hand this to a homeowner or a potential buyer, it is a hmm. value added gift. If you are sending this to them every quarter, it's something they look forward to getting. And when you talk about a pre-listing packet, it is a differentiator. But this has to be expensive. This is like an eighty dollar no. deal, right? No, and that's the other thing that's really exciting. If now uh, today we're talking about pre-listing packet, so this is something that you would have shipped to you. The ship to you cost of this is under three dollars per magazine. Wow! So there is no reason why an agent would not have. I just mm -hmm. used a double negative. 
Meaning they no should reason you would why not. they wouldn't have. There's a double negative. That means, that means cancel uh, the negatives and you got a positive. She, she didn't skip the English class in, yeah. in Wisconsin. <laughs> that means you better have this in your listing packet and you right. should show up at your listing presentation with it. And there's many other ways to use it. But talk about a differentiator. If I mm. open a listing packet, uh, a pre-listing packet, and I see that this agent has their own magazine. Right. First of all, I'm thinking, are they a Rockefeller? What's going on here? <laughs> right. But number two... When I start flipping through this and seeing the content, this educational, hard driving content that's really helping me understand and get me excited and answer questions. Exactly. Uh, content, how to sell your home fast this year. Go to page two. We're giving them a ton of content yep, to your point. Yep. And fun things as well. There's uh, some really good recipes. This one actually has a couple recipes on overnight oats that you can make. Like Looking a, at that right yeah, now. Like double chocolate oats. That I think Jim you, might make that tonight. Yeah, you put Not, it in the I'm going to get right on that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. how far I do that. Right. Put that in the fridge, you get up in the morning and you've got so there's some really cool recipes. Mm. Some other DIY in there. It's fun stuff. It's stuff that makes you want to keep it. So you know what this product is? It's called a coffee table lingerer. Right, right. And <laughs> what that means is people don't want to throw it away. So they get it in their pre-listing packet. They they flip through, they're like, wow, mm -hmm. educational, great, but ooh, I love this uh recipe. Ooh, this is a really cool DIY <laughs> how to create a gallery wall. And they put it on their coffee table. And guess who's now sitting on their coffee table? Some objection. You handling. are. Exactly. You are. And to your point, I wrote down in our in our in our pre-meeting, I call this a checkmate piece. Mm -hmm. Let's say in your in your board, you guys are going after one listing, right? So let's say, let's say they get three pre-listing packages, hypothetically, mm -hmm. right? In this market, everybody wants a listing. Zero are going to have this. This is a checkmate piece. Game over. They're going to be like, wow, they're playing Great. at this level, not at the maybe level, not at the trying to save money level. That's who I want. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I totally agree. And you know, the, the one other really cool thing about this product, there are a couple other companies that offer personally branded magazines. Um, you have to get on their website reach out to a sales rep who will mm -hmm. contact you back. Oh, and boy. then there's this whole process of creating the magazine. And I'm not saying, you know, I'm not judging or right. saying anything against that. Everybody's got to work with what they've got. But this product, you go on Prospects Plus and within minutes, you know how everything is just minutes on the site because it's so well put together. The user interface is beautiful. It's a great experience. You're saying you can order this in just minutes? Just minutes. On the website? Just minutes. Wow. By yourself. Again, this is a fully automated magazine. Everything's already been done. If you have an account with Prospects Plus, you've got your uh, profile, um, your agent photo in there and your logo in there. When you go to click on this magazine, it auto populates your photo throughout the magazine. You don't have to add your photo. It auto populates your logo. That's it a great auto point. Populates so every month there's no back and forth about the agent. Right. This is actually a quarterly product right now. I know agents are already asking for it to be monthly. Right. Hopefully that will get there. But right now it's quarterly. But yes, it auto populates all of this. So what this means is you click on this magazine. If you're sending it out, you add your list. If you're purchasing it to ship to your house because you want to edit all your listing packets, um, you just hit ship to, you click through that editor to the other side because it's all good to go just as is, just like the one in front of you there, and you check out. And I, I bet you could do it in about a minute actually. Now there are four customizable pages if you want to make a couple changes, mm -hmm. front cover, inside cover. Uh, there's one page inside, uh, page seven, I believe, that has a Imagine Your Home type of feature property page, which is a great selling page for nice. agents. And then the back cover as well. But they all stand alone as is. Everything is good to go. Either way, you, you can, can... You can change it, but it's done for you. So you don't have you. to come up with articles and spend no. a week writing no. all this no. stuff. Well, no. that is very cool. Yeah. Uh, so go check that out at prospectsplus.com. Look for magazines. And I believe that they also mail them out for you, right? Yes. They can mail them out if you have a mailing list. I would consider that. Seems like a good deal. Absolutely. All right. So <laughs> with that, you'll get the listing without any issue. So we should just close right here. <laughs> right. It's been fun. Um, have but, a great day. Good luck with your life. But until you <laughs> until you order the magazine, here's a few other ideas for you. <clears throat> consider including some contracts and other paperwork that the listing people will be signing, homeowners, that they will be signing when they list with you. Now you listing should still... people. Yes, we always like to refer to them. <laughs> now, They're also referred to as... Homeowners. Yes, right. exactly. Well, Listing to, people. to elaborate on what you said, I love it. Some agents are so bold. The strong ones in the country, mm -hmm. 
will send the contract and they will highlight the areas where they want to initial and sign yeah, before they awesome. get there. Yeah. I mean, but that you've got to have some gumption, right? Some strength. Yeah. Why yeah. wouldn't you? Right. Well, are because you kidding? Because people are afraid. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I heard <clears throat> I heard something the other day. This was somebody who worked in nonprofit mm -hmm. Ronald McDonald House at a very, very high level. And she made a comment. Most people don't donate because they're not asked. Wow. And I thought, OK, and she would know because this is what she did for a living. Uh, this is kind of in that same mm -hmm. context. If you don't highlight that, it, making an assumption that this is where you're going to fill out, you don't ask, maybe they won't fill it out. Meaning you're halfway there when you're asking. Right, right, Not right. asking, you're no way there. You're zero. You're at the starting gate. I've shared this for years in a different way, right? When agents go prospecting, it's the old saying, you have to A-S-K to G-E-T. Mm -hmm. In life or anything, you've got to be resfo you really resourceful. Do. You've got to go. Yeah, you really yeah. Do. So now, when you're looking at a pre-listing package, <coughs> realize that it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical package. It could be virtual. So, Ooh. if you prefer, you could make it virtual or offer a virtual segment to your listing package that you will email to the homeowner. Now, some agents will include their marketing videos, listing videos, and other virtual goodies, creating a virtual introduction to their services. If you decide to go the other route, ensure that the presentation is professional, polished, and reflects your business style and values, and is targeted to your potential client. And for those of you that might have saw the show, it might have been, what, five or six months ago, we had a gentleman on who did everything by video, every form of communication. Recall that gentleman? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. And it was impressive. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it's for everybody, but it tightened up his relationships with his clients. Like yep. He said if he was in his car, he would just take his phone, 10 seconds, hey, Susie, boom, I'm just here. Wow, how personal does yeah. that tie you into that? And I he said it. he made that a rule. And yeah. it's not for everybody because you've got to be strong and you've got to be, you're not always going to be perfect. He said his clients loved it, yeah. loved it. It's a personal yeah. touch every time. You either can get a, a drive voicemail, one of many on your phone, right? you know, one of a pile, and maybe you'll even miss it. I'll listen to that later. And it was important information from your realtor. Or you get this video being texted to you and you're like, wait, what the heck is this? Shorter than a voicemail it. and it's 50 times more impactful. You're yeah. like, well, this guy cares about me and my yeah. my real estate it. challenge. Car dealers are doing that now. I was in the market for are a they? car recently. What happened? And I reached out to like 15 people. One guy sent me a video. Hi, oh. Jim. This is so-and-so. And he walked around the car I was looking at and That's said, amazing. here's my car. You know, if you want it, That's call nice. me up. I can, get, nice I can send you more pictures, make another video for you. But he was the only guy that did that, and he stood out. So you didn't have to go all the way, drive down there, park, right. go through a hassle. Exactly. So that would be a nice touch. Impressive. That's unbelievable. And, you know, when you do things, you get creative like that. Somebody who's in sales, you you probably are scratching your head. Is this worth my time? Am I right. really wasting my time? Well, now you're hearing about how it's being received. This mm -hmm. is somebody on the other end, a consumer right. on the other end of it, receiving this and going, wow. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So if you're into virtual pre-listing presentations, <coughs> check out highnote.io. The IO is in place of a com? IO, yeah. That, uh, that's that got to be an app for a phone. That's okay. what I would say it is. High note. Yeah. It's probably, they're All probably right. thinking that most people are going to want to do something on their phone. So right. an app for the phone. All right. And, you know, on this subject, I would actually do both. I would definitely send over a pre-listing packet. And I would do something, some kind of video interaction that I'm sending in an email to them. I Get love that. Get their email address. And exactly. Do that because you're making <clears throat> yourself real. When you see somebody's picture that's, you know, glamour shotted on something, that's such a flat two dimensional version of you. But when somebody gets a video from you, it's so personal. And there's no excuse because most people use the excuse of money. That costs no money. No. The only excuse is to build up your confidence and build up your presentation right. strong enough, which if you listen to next week's podcast we're going to talk about that then if you get strong enough you're okay sending a 10 second video mm -hmm. 30 second video right <clears throat> right 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 and and you know you made a comment one time that i thought was really powerful we were talking about uh creating video messaging and you know you know that, that you put on social media mm -hmm. and uh, you probably don't even remember this conversation um she's saying you have bad memory <laughs> well it's been a while it's probably been four <laughs> I years i need that stuff focus back it's been about four or five years ago but you said uh -huh. when you're doing something like that to not feel self-conscious remember it's about what the receiver is getting it's not about you right. take it off of you don't worry uh, about your hair your face your how you're coming across remove that i would imagine as a speaker that's the same thought 
get that you out have of to your at some mind. point because otherwise you drive yourself crazy because right, right. you'll never be perfect and i would imagine it's felt by the receiver when you're like totally in your head focusing on you yeah instead of on them you think just about them and what they're getting from this message even if it's quick or if it's like a minute exactly. or whatever same with these people yeah. with their video with their clients i, yeah, I like that point yeah. it was your point and i, I would have forgotten that thank I you. Bet you do. that's <laughs> why you like that because it was your idea well, okay. no, i forgot it i forgot i'm like yeah. whoa I, I, nice. I actually had a good point for you <laughs> <laughs> we had to go back four years. Oh, right, but hey, we found it. Hey, we found it. We at least we found it, guys. That's now we can right? move on. Okay. Right. Self, my self esteem is back up. <laughs> so, because it was very low, wasn't it? We could yeah. tell there. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about a presentation folder? You know, our friends at prospectsplus.com have custom presentation folders as well as targeted direct response reports, just listed postcards, feature property brochures, and other marketing materials. Uh, all on their website, prospectsplus.com. Pretty so. much everything you need to put together in a listing packet. Yeah, e exactly. And if you were to look at it in that sense, to dollarize it, think about what is your average commission, those of you listening or watching, to add a couple little things in here that you know your competition is not doing. Is it worth it for you to get that? Is it five? Is it seven? Is it nine? Twelve thousand dollar commission? Right. Right. Of course it is. It's the craziest yeah. no-brainer world history. You just got to have some guts, put it together, and go make right. it happen. And go to right. your broker. Go to your broker. They're there for you. That's a resource. Say, hey, here's my pre-listing package. I'm going to add this. They're going to critique you. They're going to help you. Why? They want you to win. Right. Right. Um, something like a, a future property brochure. Maybe the, th the market's moving too, so fast in your area, you don't have time for just listed postcards. But a future property brochure. If you were able to get a snapshot of their home and oh. get that on a brochure and have that in the packet that's, for them to yes, see, yes, I mean, yes. it's, it's, talk about a differentiator. And that's a strategy that we've used, you know, we've taught for many years, you know, people, you know, before you go in and now with modern technology, it's easier to do mm -hmm. where you can actually go take a photo of their home or go find one from a previous listing as long as it's mm -hmm. clean and good. Talk about a different, exactly, nobody is going to do that. People no. are going to do a flip chart. If you list, I'll do this, this, this. Right. Well, you've already done it. So now there's a slight obligation factor and a factor going, wow, this girl doesn't play. She's for real. And remember what we used to say is put a stamp on it. Yes. Because now you've actually spent, at the time it was probably 40 cents. Now it's right. like 55 right. cents. Right. To put it on this card. Now that seller is feeling really obligated because yeah. you got to throw it away should have bought the forever stamps the forever stamps <laughs> 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 no but uh, exactly. uh, yes that strategy i've had people call me up a year later that use that that would go to a listing presentation we're getting off track but we're having fun and, and not just one postcard they would do 100 postcards mm -hmm. stamped address ready to be mailed out with the with their with the photo of their home yep they could interview a hundred other agents. No one's going to do that. No. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, with your permission, we're going to get these milled out tomorrow. And these right. are going to people who are in a price range that your home fits. Boom. Right. I mean, it, right. We did. Yep. It. We yep. taught that a lot. And yeah. it's still magic to this day. It is. Yeah, it, it is. is. All right. So how about some reports that you should include in your pre-listing packet? How about three critical steps to take once you're ready to sell? Why agents who cut commission could cost you more? Mm. Commission, common reasons, home purchases fall apart. Inventory is low. Now is the time to sell. The top 10 things to look for in a realtor. What if I sell my home and I can't find one to buy? What if you don't know about waiting? It could cost you plenty. And many more reports. Boy, that's a lot of writing somebody's going to do. Oh, wait a minute. It says here all of these reports <laughs> oh, wait a minute. are available on <laughs> prospectsplus.com. And if you get their marketing emails every Sunday... They give away a free direct response report download. It's a secret that's not to the everybody. One, that's not the one person, right? I mean, like everybody who gets the email can. Yes, everybody who gets the email gets that. a free. So it's not like a cool contest. So what's right. great about that is over time, you're going to have quite a collection of reports. Reports. Mm -hmm. And, and you by can the just way, them out on your own. Of course, you can always go on the site, and all of these reports we just listed are available, and you can and some targeted niches, renters, baby boomers, all that kind of stuff too. You can print them. You can print a hundred, have them shipped to you by Prospects Plus. Mm -hmm. But this is another way to get them that costs you nothing. It's free. Nice. You know. So that is all there is to it to knock the socks off of somebody, especially if they're selling their house magazine. That's a great way to go. God, incredible. The pre-listing package. Here's what I would say before we before we go. So a lot of you listening and watching right now, I know don't have one. So go back, revisit, put one together, start small. Your broker will help you. Those of you that do have one. 
Go to one of your top agents in the office. Go to your broker and say, boom, help me get stronger. I'm committed to winning huge this year. And guess what? They're going to help you if you want to help other people. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, and, and, may, and maybe have an accountability partner in your office and say, boom, let's listen to these podcasts and let's work on this together and let's hit our goal this year. And we had a whole podcast on accountability partners exactly. as well. Yes, so. we did. You know, this was uh, chock full, this, this podcast. Did I talk about the transcripts that you can go to our site? I can't remember if I said no. I know we talked about it in the pre-meeting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anytime we have podcasts that are chock full like this, obviously you need to be some kind of court reporter to get all this information <laughs> down. Clearly, we don't want you doing all your We've driving. got a guy down the hall who's actually typewriting everything that we're saying right now <laughs> so you can read it later, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, with an old right. typewriter. Ding, yes. Ding, he has four ding. cups of coffee and three packs of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> A scarf. He's got a scarf, a scarf. On his back, smoking a pipe. He wants to be left yeah. alone for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if you go to our YouTube channel, oh. obviously our podcast is available on our YouTube channel as well. Grab this podcast and you'll see under the where the video is, there's three little dots. You click on that and the tra the uh, transcript for the episode will come up. So you can get your hands on the transcript and therefore you don't have to write all these notes and you'll have all the information and you Love can it. then make a list and do it all. But you still have to watch the show because exactly are good, right? But now you can listen to the the listen show. or watch right. the show and then just go to the notes so you don't have to yeah. drive yourself crazy and then right. go to your two or three things that you're like, ooh, I want that, that, and that. Right, right, right. All right, Lisa, what are we doing with this pile of postcards over here? Okay, um, can we, can we well, this? we can either... Now check, we check can... this out. This okay. is I, official. I, th I think we need more. <laughs> this is official mail that was given to us by okay. prospectsplus.com. These are actual customer postcards in an official United States Postal Service bin. Yep. Uh, Look at the size of this. This is only for mail <laughs> violations subject to imprisonment for three years. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. If I'm so, not touching that. <clears throat> we'll bust you out. We have a helicopter and uh -oh. a rope, so don't worry. Well, All right. At least you have mail in there. We're okay. There is right. mail in there. So, so what is our plan here, okay, Lisa? Okay, so what we're going to do... I guess grab a couple of those. This is almost like, um, it's like our own lottery. You know how the little balls boop, 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 and then one comes up and somebody wins? Right. So, or bingo? So, yeah, like or that. bingo, kind of. <laughs> so these actually are all postcards that, um, I don't know, from a couple hours of one day this week. I mean, Prospects Plus just run so much uh i thought the kid was marketing. holding a bottle of beer there for a second right? <laughs> yeah uh is he old enough uh he should be under parental guidance i think <laughs> run so much marketing uh mail for agents it's kind of insane but anyway this is just a chunk of it from a part of one day so you, you can decide one of you is going to grab one of those out of there and we are going to try and call that agent right now and see if they want to win a hundred dollar gift card on prospects Ooh. plus and we can. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> okay. That's a great. Same as before, basically. <laughs> Todd, why don't you do the honors, please? Uh, I've I've handed her three already. So oh, the okay. honors have oh, been. Oh, should I grab one of these? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. You've yeah, already okay. got them. There okay. you go. All right. I, I was, I, I was right. expediting. All right. Oh, okay. Nice. I, I thought you were just gonna let me no. get them. No. Okay. So I've got. Uh, this one again, panoramic, awesome. It looks like it's a just sold. Here's some of these if you need. Just sold. No, I, I've got because it. Because we had so much success before when people <laughs> knew we were going to call them. We think this is going to be better when they have right. no idea we're going to call right. them. Right. Okay, right. good. All right, well, that, it doesn't work. Skip that one. Yeah. Here we go. We'll try this one. Three, two, three, eight, two, eight. Who's in charge of making sure we have pins that work around here? Yeah, we don't know. Oh, lucky day. So Jeremy. Jeremy. All right. This guy will answer. Jeremy. We'll see. Jeremy, this is Jim and Todd and Lisa from the Take a Listing Today podcast. We're calling on behalf of ProspectsPlus.com. Have you heard of that place? Sure. Yeah. So we've actually got one of your, is this it here? Yep. That's one of it. your postcards that you've done recently. A, a oh. just sold and, and coming soon postcard. Yeah, right. Orange Grove, or Orange, was that it? Orange Grove Road? So, yeah. we wanted, uh, this is Todd, congratulations, uh, and thanks for picking up, because we want to ask you about your campaign, and also give you a chance to win a $100 gift card and a book from um, Prospects Plus. Yeah, $100 gift card that you can use on Prospects Plus, yep. Sound good? Okay. Sure, how tell, can I help you? Sure, tell us about your campaign, like what made you go this direction? The, uh, the postcard looks great. And we just picked it and wanted uh, wanted to find out what made you go this direction because um, it's incredible. You know, I'll be honest, my my business, my my um, my assistant is the one that's actually put it together. 
I okay. wonder if she'd be able to better answer all these questions for you. You want me to give you her number? No, no, that's fine. So we just want to say congratulations, and um, let's oh, give him you. a chance to win. We're not sure how it's going to work just yet, but we're going to give it a try. So as you may know, Lisa loves to spit out facts, which normally are not true on our show. So we have a new... <laughs> A new contest today called, Is It True or Did Lisa Just Make It Up? And if I'm you, go with the you second it. one every time. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do, Jeremy, we're is... We're all uh, laughing except Lisa right now. <laughs> yeah, she's not She's not entertained, but that's all right. The rest of us are having enough entertainment in her expense. So what I'm going to do for you, Jeremy, is read you a statement, and then you tell us if it is true or if Lisa just made it up. Come on, Jeremy. And, and you said the answer should be Lisa made it up every time. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, because some of these are are crazy facts that are true. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. And, of course, you'll only have a couple seconds. We have some music, so when it runs out, then we need your answer. Here is the statement, Jeremy. You got this. It takes seven years to digest gum. Hmm. That's gross. Lisa made that up. Oh, you're not even waiting until the, the song is <laughs> Oh, he's going right away with you're that. You're saying Lisa made it up. That does seem like a long time. Is that correct? Yes! Oh! You are correct. Lisa did make that up. It looks like gum is indigestible and it passes right through. There you go. <laughs> That's what it says. Although we could have done without that explanation at the end. Um, wow. Congratulations. You're going to love the book, become a listing legend, and your $100 gift card. If I were you, I would just go to products, go right down to Market Dominator, watch the video, follow the prompts. <laughs> tell your you, assistant you, to do that. Tell, she can yeah, go there yeah have back, her right? Right, go to right. Market Dominator and we'll send her the book. Uh, thanks for being a trooper, Jeremy. I'm gonna email that. Right, that I'm gonna email that code to you, okay? The gift card code. Oh, okay, that's so sweet of you guys. Thank you. All right, All right. thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jeremy. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. <laughs> hey, one wonderful winner right off. Did Lisa make it up, or is it actually true? So amazingly, that one you did make up. Yes. Right. I'm so clever. Well, of course you are. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Or did we get everything here on today's show? I think we did great. All right. So we hope you enjoyed learning how to knock the socks off of potential listeners in your area. Don't forget today's podcast, obviously, was brought to you by our friends at prospectsplus.com. Check them out. And we hope to see you again next week. Take Bye -bye. care. Bye-bye. <laughs>